Expand a 1 over 1 minus x and b square root of 1 plus 2x up to and including the first four terms using the binomial theorem. So we've got 1 over x min 1 minus x is equal to 1 minus x to the minus 1. That's the first thing we need to do. And then we can use this idea that 1 plus x to the n is equal to 1 plus nx plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times x squared plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 divided by 3 factorial x cubed. And this carries on forevermore because it's infinite. Now, if n is equal to minus 1, because what we've got here, n is minus 1, and in this case, x will be equivalent to minus x. So instead of x, we now need to substitute in minus x. We will get 1 minus x to the minus 1 will be 1, plus minus 1 times minus x. Looking at this bit here, we now get minus 1 times minus 2 over 2 factorial times minus x all squared, so be careful use of brackets, plus minus 1 minus 2 times minus 3 over 3 factorial, which is this bit, minus x all cubed, and carrying on forevermore. This gives me the first four terms, which is what I want. I can stop there. So simplifying, we get 1. Minus 1 times minus x gives me plus x. Now minus 1 times minus 2 is 2 divided by 2, gives me uh, 1, and then minus x squared just gives me plus x squared, so we get plus x squared there, 1 times plus x squared, we don't write the 1 in, and then we've got minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3, which gives me minus 6, where we're going to get another minus sign from this x cubed, so that will make that positive, 3 factorial is 1 times 2 times 3, which is 3 factorial, uh, times, which is 6, so you're going to have 6 divided by 6, or so again, we're just going to have plus x cubed, and this will carry on. Now, this is provided that x is between... <coughs> minus 1 and 1. If we want to do the next one, which says uh, the square root of... 1 plus 2x, we rewrite that in brackets as 1 plus 2x to the half. Binomial means 2, so we have two things to the power of half. Then using our rule, 1 plus x to the n is equal to this. It's not too difficult to actually learn. We're going to have the n is equal to a half, and x is equivalent to 2x this time. So substituting in, we've got 1 plus 2x to the half is equal to 1 plus n, which is a half, times my x, which in this case is going to be 2x, plus a half times a minus half over 2 factorial, times 2x all squared. Be careful how you use your brackets. Next one will be a half times a minus a half times minus 3 over 2 over 3 factorial, times my, uh, 2x all cubed. So doing this uh, stage at a time, so just we'll leave the first bit. Working this bit, a half times minus a half divided by two factorial is minus one eighth. Two cubed is four, so this becomes four x squared. This squared is only now with the x. And then doing a half times minus a half times minus three over two divided by three factorial gives me one sixteenth. Two cubed is eight, so we get eight x cubed. Carrying on, we're gonna get one 1 half times a 2 is going to be x minus an eighth times 4 gives me minus a half x squared and then plus 1 16th times 8 gives me plus a half x cubed. Now it's valid if 2x is between minus 1 and 1 which means that x will have to be between minus a half and a half. Okay so this has been a video to show you how to expand a fractional index, a binomial index, and a negative binomial index using the binomial theorem. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching. Just one last thing before we go. Remember, this only works for 1 plus something. When we've got a number in front, we'll look at that in the next uh, video. I hope, hope, this, I hope you understood.